What's going on, everybody? My name's Chris, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play The Wind Waker HD Blind, at least visually. I, I know this game, I just I don't know its visuals because I never played the HD remake. Oh my god, it's bats! It's bats! Uh, I got too scared of the bats! Oh no, this actually might end badly. Uh, 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 oh man, don't sweep at me! Don't sweep at me! Don't do it! Uh, fast pass, I haven't taken damage yet. These guys are really good at whittling down damage. Can we get, oh, look at this! This is one of the first times we've seen... It, an enemy drop one of these pearl things. Yay. <laughs> you know what? Actually, before we deal with that, because I'll actually stick around. Ah, poopy. Well, um. <laughs> okay, so grab this. Come over here. We'll click, light this up, and then we'll deal with that little enemy orb. Oh, is there more? I wonder if there's more. Wait, is there anything up here? No, that chest is just kind of chilling over there, chillaxing like a villain and stuff. I, I don't know. Eh, quick! Oh, there we go. All right, figure I might as well unlock that before I deal with this thing. Okay, so. Uh, I know green is for rupees, orange is for enemy drops. I don't know what purple is. Is it just three colors? So, essentially, each color denotes, like, a certain thing. Um... If, it, if this was a certain enemy, like a, a Moblin or something that actually had a very specific enemy drop, it would be more useful to hit, hit it on orange. But since this is just a bat drop, we're going to actually hit it. Oh, we ended up hitting it on purple. And see, it just dropped a bunch of rupees anyways. If we hit it on green, it probably would drop more. Although I do need to get my... I need to check my sources on that. I forgot about the enemy orbs. Oh, I forgot to turn on my freaking timer. You got a joy, Pendant. They, they spend joy and spell joy and spread joy and... Joy, joy, joy. So much joy. Okay, we're going to pretend that my timer was going this entire time. But all right, I believe that's all that's in this room. Indeed, there is. There's no more treasure chests. There's no more treasure Irish chests. Whoa, it's another one of those pots. And what is that weird symbol down there? Interesting. So, yeah, very obviously blow that up. <laughs> now we're going to jump in here. Is this just going to be jump? Whoa, what? Weird, they don't make the same sound of- Whoa, that was really cheap if those guys hit me. Ooh, why did I take half our damage on? I don't know. So yeah, these- Ah, oh, you assholes! I just want to jump in the pot, that's all I wanted to do. All I wanted to- Come on, jump, jump! What? Why does it not work? What? Are you serious? I'm taking damage, because this game is being stupid. Give me that freaking joy pendant, a much deserved joy pendant, wow. Good God! So these are teleport pots. Oh, that's that's um. They used to make a noise when you go on them, and like your screen would fade away instead of just doing that little circle thing. That's kind of annoying and stupid. Okay, if we actually look down, there's the main hub of the room I was talking about earlier, guys. Now we're at the top of the main hub of the room. <laughs> so yeah, that, that's kind of cool to see. Um, oh, whoops! I don't know why I was freaking. Locked on to nothing for a second there. It's because my finger flinched should I hit the button. Oh my lord. Alright. So. Whoa, that was too close for comfort, actually. I did not I did not enjoy that. <laughs> Alright, giggity giggity goo. Okay, there's a treasure chest in here. That's good to know. I thought that it was. There's no chest here. So we're actually looking for <laughs> Boku blends, as weird as that sounds in this room. Hey, look, there's one in there. For some reason, he's sleeping inside of a pot. How would he even get in that pot? I don't think I'll ever know or understand. Um, this sword is actually pretty powerful. Hey, look, a joy pen. I had a feeling that guy would drop something important. How many of those do we have now, by the way? Let's take a look. I feel like we have a lot. We have eight joy pendants. It's actually well on our way here. Ugh. Did I not? Seriously? Ugh. No! I'm... Just, just drop it. Just drop it. Screw it. Huh. Really? Huh. Really? Huh. There we go. I like how when the pot breaks, he starts a little bit smaller, and then he, like, upsizes a bit. Kind of silly looking. Hey, look at the meat stick. That looks important. Oh. Interesting. So I guess this is the first instance of a room where you have to kill all the enemies in it in order to get everyone out. I, I think I was killing all the enemies anyways. I mean, there's a lot of more pots in here. I kind of feel like there'd be more. I thought for sure there was more, actually. Yeah, so now they're light the torches to get the treasure chest. Which is weird, because once again, playing this game for the first time, I had no idea how to get this treasure chest. I think it might be that the guy that was on the shelf, you got a treasure chart. Over the chart in the map screen, it'll be a place, or, and a place where the treasure lies will light up. So, 
to that area and then use a chart to find the treasure. See, I think maybe my issue was that I didn't know about this guy in the pot up there and I didn't know maybe to roll into the wall to knock it down. Uh, from the drop, because I think he might be the only one that has the meat stick. There's seriously no more of those guys in here? That's really weird if there isn't. But then again, how is that even possible? Because you have to kill all those guys in order for the door to open. Maybe I just didn't see the fact that there was, like, treasure in this room or something. I don't freaking know. Very weird. Very strange. I could have sworn there was one more in one of these pots. I thought it was one in here. Oh, really? That didn't break? I like the joy pendant. Oh, it doesn't even matter because there's meat sticks up here as well. I don't understand this game. It's really weird. <laughs> no, actually, not that I'm inside of this game. I don't understand my stupid, stupid 12 year old brain or ho however old I was. Ooh. First time we see one of these guys. Or should we get monster descriptions like we did with Navi? So, these assholes. I don't know what they're called, actually. But, if you hit them with water, they go into a little ball and you can kill them, maybe. Ooh. Yeah, that is very easy to do. I was trying to position myself so I wouldn't walk off the ledge, but that clearly didn't work too well. And now we're down to one heart again. Great. Great! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, so... Uh, you know what? We'll just, let's just try it again. See, these guys are actually pretty hard to deal with. Because when we hit them with the water, they'll... Whoa! Okay. No! Oh, God dang it! Oh, so sick of taking walks for it. Am I dead? I might be dead, guys. <laughs> oh, I'm down to half a heart. I get one more chance at this. Alright, try this one more time. Oh, no. I fell into the lava. Great. Fantastic. God dang it. So freaking annoying to deal with you, asshole. I missed! I need to get closer. Yeah, these platforms actually don't last too long. I don't know if you guys are noticing that or not. Alright, let's stand right here. I'll just do a spin attacks. Almost walked off again. Nothing, nothing. Great. Yeah. Okay, so. Let's throw our water here to get across this ledge. And then, the really cool looking part here. If we jump, and then jump quickly. This thing will actually, if you kind of miss this spot, it will kind of move there for you. And yeah, as you see, it pushes you up. You make a platform, then you ride it up. It is really freaking cool, and I love it. It's fantastic. All right, we're on the third floor now. Ooh, this room looks kind of cool. Oh, there's bomb flowers right there. Or a bomb flower, rather. There's more. Nope, there's only one. Oh, God. Good Lord. Freaking bouncy-ass bomb flowers. I'll throw you in hope for a heart, but not actually get one because that's hero mode. Oh, we need a hero to save us. Hey, look, another warp pot, pot. Okay, so now we actually unlocked the third one. I'll tell you guys, there's three warp pots in every single dungeon in the game besides the Forsaken Fortress because it's kind of not really even a dungeon. <laughs> it's that pathetic. The main enemy's hideout is the most... It doesn't even count as a hideout because it's so pathetic and stuff. That looks very ominous with the two torches up there. They kind of look like eyes, to be honest. Huh. Yeah, so yeah, now we have access to all three, and they'll actually cycle through. It goes green. What was that? Was it purple? No, it was blue, wasn't it? it was green, blue, yellow, and it'll always cycle through those in that order. So yellow goes to green, green goes to blue, blue goes to yellow, etc., etc., etc. Forever and ever, all men. <gasps> Holy crap, we're really close to the loot now. Yeah, he looks a bit grumpy. Oh, I forgot my rent is due. Oh. This is really cool here. So after these first three steps, I believe. Oh, no, never mind. It's more up here. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. It's freaking wah. Wah. Oh, I love that so much. You can see them fall. Oh, man. That's so cool. Oh, oh. In the next episode. Just kidding. Let's do it now. Ooh. <gasps> Medley! There's two of these assholes. Awesome, we fought one was the Forsaken Fortress, the only one. And here comes the awesome music, the awesome mini boss music. Alright, you have to be very careful. One hit and we're dead. D E A D dead. I will merge you with my sword. Oh, good lord. <sighs> yeah, they're both dead. I'm freaking awesome. Medley, I will save you. What? <gasps> the Sunbird's offspring. He's bringing a giant pig to fight us. 
Oh, I love these guys too. They look so freaking intimidating. They're so big. Just like my pet hamster. Ugh. Yeah, that's what I thought. Ugh. There you go. Just corner him. Just the, I really like the weapons too. They're just giant freaking halberds. I love it. Not, they could also be a little hard to fight against too, because they're, they're really good at defending your hits. There we go. Uh oh. There's no way I'm going to be able to do this. Oh no, I actually got to talk to her. Okay. So that's a wait for it to be yes. orange. You got a skull necklace. You keep it in your spoils bag. It's rather off putting accessory. It would appear to be of little value, but shown to the right person is apparently of great worth. Okay, so skull necklaces actually don't really do very much in this game. At least they did in the original. They might do more in this game. I'll have to look into that. But, um, there's actually a guy in Windfall Island that really likes them. And if you give them to him, I believe he just gives you money for it. Um, although you might be able to play a mini game when you give it to him as well. And yeah, you can pick up this guy's weapon as well. It's freaking awesome. Link still looks very unimpressed with it. <laughs> and yeah, he's freaking huge area swing so freak could you like spin attacks with any crap oh you can that's awesome looking holy crap jeez hey belly you got a present for you <laughs> belly is just unimpressed with me actually she's pretty impressed she's pretty happy looking link you came to rescue me oh thank you i have to tell you what i found out this is terrible some creature is doing awful things to the great blue's tail oh, excuse me what that's why he's so angry no, I know, he just, he's not happy with the fact his rent is due. The Great Blue's tail hangs down to the room right below here. He's got, uh, there's gotta be something in there. I wonder if those mean monsters who catch me have something to do with it. Pff, probably not. We have to do something now before it's too late. Uh, I'll tell everyone what's going on, what's happening. Here, Link, use this to get out of here. It's what I used to get this far. It's a device we read though, used before we evolved the wings. Wow, that's kind of cool that you guys remember that since the evolution of wings must have taken quite a while. You got the grappling hook. This was I'm used by the Rito people before they had wings. Yep. Um, use this item to them to anything with a target thing on it. <laughs> you even use it to haul things up from the seafloor while you're on your boat. Healing, climb on that little ledge so I can show you something. Okay, for a second I was like, wait, why does she even have this? She can fly, right? And I was like, maybe she hasn't got a skill from Blue either, but she clearly has because she can fly. So that's really weird. I don't understand. Um, let's put down the Y button. So yeah, this is the grappling hook. Uh, before we go up there, let's see if we can target with it. Is there a bad guy over there? No. I see. Target using my move my game pad around. Oh no, Baloo does not look like a very happy dinosaur at all. No duck dinosaur. He's a freaking dragon, man. Get it right, man. Man. Grab this branch with the grappling hook, and you could swing over there to get out of this area. When you aim on the branch, you latch on with the target thing. Remember that. Don't worry about me, Link. Get going. Alrighty then. I only have half a heart. Did I take damage from that again? I didn't even notice. Okay, so. Where you aim on this. Like if I aim over here and aim over there. And where you stand. Actually, it will take a note where you're standing in relation to this. And it will take into account your angle. See, I'm kind of swinging a bit to the right here. That's probably because of where I am standing. That's very important to know. Oh, she gone? Where the heck did she go? What the heck? She just vanished. That's kind of scary. Did she fly off and I just wasn't paying attention? She might have just flew off. Man, that's the only time we see this area and also this arena. And I felt kind of sad about it. Because I did come back to this dungeon later and yeah, you can find or you can go back there. And it makes me really sad because I also don't think I could break that fence as badly as I want to. <sighs> <laughs> um Actually, now that we have the grappling hooks that are f and it's fresh in our mind, let's go over here. Let's go get the... There's a treasure we could access now that we have this in a room we were already at. And since we'll be right near it when we go through this anyways, we might as well do it now. See, this is what I was talking about. Hold on. Ah, every time, man. Freaking cheap assholes. Those cheap assholes. It'd be interesting if I get to the boss with this half heart. How quickly I'll die. <laughs> It almost makes me want to think that maybe I should just kill myself before I get to the boss. Just kill. oh no, let's choose. Chewy, chew, 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 chew. All right, grab those. Oh no, I don't think they'll reach me in time for it to really matter. They probably already forgot about me. Ooh, you know what? Let's get out of there. I almost fell for that trick. Little trick. Whoa. All right, won't you jelly? Anybody? Anybody? There we go. Right. Oh! I thought that guy would be dead again. He scared me again. 
I thought maybe he had only spawned once for some reason. I don't know why. It's kind of foolish of me to think. I thought maybe because he's kind of special because he's in the pod and he's kind of like the tutorial guy. I thought maybe he wouldn't be there this time. Yeah, we're going to want to take this and burn this down before we swing over like a... Si Ooh, that could have ended badly. All right. Oops. Wrong button. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And we're lined up. We go over here. And see, most of these chests, these like wooden chests with steel like plating around them. They're not really steel plating, I guess. But like a frame of steel. They most often contain treasure charts. Um, yeah. So that, that's good to note. <laughs> All right, go up there. And right at this point in the game, I'm pretty sure I got a little stuck as well. Mostly because I was like, yeah, the grappling hook now, but where do you go? Because there was that chest we could get, but then it's like, I don't know where to go from here. But if you paid attention to when after we got got our, our, around our first hooks, can I jump in there please? No, of course not, that would have been too great. Can I please just jump up here without getting any harassments? Thank you, thank you very much. Right. I wish there was a way to like choose which pot you came to, because it is kind of annoying. I have to get out of the pot and jump back in. Which gets to that blue or purple, to be honest. Hmm, I feel like it was a lot more blue in the last game. Hey, we get over here now, but there's actually no point, because the boss is actually over there. So we will be going there eventually, but for now, we will go through this room. Yeah. It looks like we actually won't be finishing this dungeon in this episode, unfortunately. Next one, full shizzle, yo nizzle. Oh, good lord, that actually scared me. Alright, so over here is actually where we want to go. Uh, Alright. You know what? Let's, let's purposely line myself up really awkwardly so I can show off. If the angles matter here. Oh, okay. Well, that still worked out. But you guys saw I swung a lot more to the left, right? <laughs> here, maybe this one. Nope. Okay. Well, then, whatever. <laughs> How high up are we now? Holy crap. We are above the clouds. We can't even see the bottom anymore. That's crazy. The load does not feel like we've climbed up that far, but apparently we have, so if the game says it's true, it must be true. Alright, let's actually... I'm gonna take, oh, 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 is that going to fall? Is he, oh, we climbed back up. Oh, and he's going to fall again. Let's let's help him out by knocking him down. I knock him down, and he can't get up again because he's really stupid, butthead. Oh, hello. Hello! I don't know if your, your meat stick will be important to me or not. Oh! I don't know what's in the, Maybe it's a small key? Huh. Okay, so... Wait, wait, can I light the bridge on fire? Okay, you can't. Oh, you can! Oh, that's so cool! So yeah. yeah, look at look how this... Oh, that, that looks so cool to me. I love it. <laughs> I don't know what's in this chest. It might be a small key. I guess that would make the most sense, right? No, it's a joy pendant. Alright, well, I try my best. And I guess that was pointless besides to show the fact that that's kind of cool. So it's kind of weird. We're going down now instead of up. And I thought there was a little fire. Oh, there it is right there. If you do want to go back up for whatever reason, you can. We do want to go this way, though, because we haven't been this way yet. And this, I believe, leads to an interesting new area. Yeah! This thing right here, which is really easy if you're not careful. Oh, you know what? If you don't do a spin attack here and one... Whoa. And only one of these strings break, it'll like tilt over and you'll fall off and die. I'm at half heart, so I'm not going to do that. So yeah, break them all at once with a spin attack. And you're fine. That was actually the room. This is the the main part of the game again. Or the, the hub of the, the dungeon that you can't even see anymore because it's a giant fire geyser. <laughs> you can never end. Yeah, you can see, like, that's the main hub right there. Yay! <laughs> Alright, actually, I'm pretty close to the end of this dungeon, I do believe. And by pretty close, I mean, we probably have another ten minutes or so of going through rooms and such. Let's climb this ladder, and then climb down again. Nim, 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 nim. And this door right here looks freaking awesome as balls. Pretty sure in the last game there's actually teeth sticking down here as well, and I always thought found it weird that you don't get hurt when you walk over them, but I guess that's just explain it. The fact that they remove them, they're like, yeah, I agree with you, Chris, even though I'm not actually talking. Oh, look at this rocks falling from the ceiling. Interesting. So yeah, this is actually a switch. As odd as that sounds. Oh great. Great. Fantastic. Wow, my life is great. Well, I'm dead. That sucks. 
I thought I would make that, but no, apparently not. What a great spot to end it off on. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Let's Play the Wind Waker HD Blind visually and stuff. If you guys enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. My name's Chris, and in the next one, I will start off where I was and wait before I died, and it'll be fantastic times for everybody. It won't take long to get there, I just gotta get through all this crap. No! Dude, are you- s why can I not climb that? I hate you all! You all suck! You all suck! I hate you! You suck! You suck! I hate you! Are you serious?! Uh, this is the best game that never ends. Ooh. Actually, see if we could show. Maybe it's purple we want. This glow, we glow on. Cause we tried orange. Let's see if we get purple. We got like multiple jewel pendants or something. And we just get one. Great. <laughs> well then. Okay. Yes. In the next episode, I'll meet you guys where I was before I died. Okay. Okay. Great. See you guys later. Bye bye.